No, Johnny, let me explain here. Caitlin's an artist slash musician who loves singing, writing songs, and playing the ukulele. Looks like she's getting played right now. Getting tossed about those first hurdles. Hitting all the right notes so far. Oh, oh that's bad. Johnny, imagine that scream. Accompanied by the ukulele. Well, Jill pulled a few strings earlier, got her to play. I'm on the big balls. I'm in the air. I'm in the mud. Oh, no, now it's in my hair. What will I do? It's in my shoe. Nailed it. We could start a band. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. OK, look, I'll talk to you after the show. Perfect. Sure, they could be the ukuladies. Ah, uh, bravo. Caitlin bringing her talents to our main stage. Come on, Jill, help her out. She's on Wipeout. That's a ticket. She's in the air. Sing it, sister. She's in the mud. Yeehaw. It's in her hair. Oh, it was just getting good, too. Caitlin is getting motivated. She's on the platform. She's getting rotivated in the water. All right, give it up, Anderson. Wow, that songwriting's really hard. Hey, so it was fifth grade, you know? Some things just take a few years. Now jogging over to Wipeout Shores is 20-year-old Adriana Peterson. And get this, Johnny, Adriana's a video game artist. Wow, she paints video games? No, 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 she animates them. Oh, that's cool. Wipeout's like a real-life video game. <laughs> Actually, John, Wipeout is a video game. Yeah, well, I wouldn't want to play as her character. Go back to the course where Adriana's playing. She's looking a little less animated here at the Sucker Punch. Oh, yeah, that's the difference between wiping out here and on your phone. You do not want to do that in an elevator. Trust me, it's awkward. Video games leading us to a guy who wants to be the voice of a GPS, Chris Page. In 20 feet, wipe out. Oh, welcome to the big balls, our globular positioning system. Recalculating. Oh, this guy is all over the map, Johnny. But Jill tracked him down before his run. You're kind of like your own GPS voice, right? Yeah, it's not smooth like the other GPS. It's not like, you can turn left now. It's none of that. It's like, turn left now. Whoa, I'd rather turn right off a cliff. What about you have arrived at your destination? You're here. That's it. <laughs> That's it. Finally, I can get yelled at by my own car. Creepy GPS in the express lane in less than two and a half minutes. In 20 more feet, wipe out again. Sounds accurate. Bill always chooses the fastest, most direct route. Turn over now! <laughs> Yikes! Oh, yeah. ho, ho. Creepy GPS Chris can't no. proceed forward and gets no. rerouted. No. John has been an action-packed qualifier so far. Navigating it is always tricky. Please turn to your right. As we look at the competition, we see all our contestants struggling to stay on course, including former cop Dawn Chafin, who knows about challenging obstacles. She ran her police training course after getting pepper sprayed in the eyes. Oh, that's got a sting. Yeah, and Jill even demonstrated. Look directly into the bottle. But with a time of 8.43, this clear-eyed ex-cop won't make our cut. Dancer Florentino Martinez had a good-looking time. Owie! OK, not that good-looking. Come on! That is so dirty. Yeah, but this dirty dancer had the time of his life. Oh, yeah! 3.28, Johnny. That's the second best so far. More dirt! Woo! Sorry, Henson, you're just too young for me! What? Yeah, hard to believe, but Courtney Finnegan has a thing for really old dudes. I have more to talk about with an older guy. They've been more places. Have more money. Yeah. <laughs> well, this little grave robber has her eyes set on our prize. She is moving on. Let's do this! And then there's stuntman Leroy Patterson, 300 pounds of heavenly joy, who is impervious to pain. You know, life is full of pain. I don't think you need to add any more to it. You sure? Oh, Leroy could beat the pain, but not the stopwatch. Woo! Sorry, bud. Oh. And that brings us to our final competitor, Kyle Stevenson. He is a club promoter from Oklahoma. Claims he's quite the ladies' man. Jill checked him out. Do you get hit on a lot? It sometimes happens. OK, so do you have a girlfriend? I got some all right ones. And I'm sure they all get along. How many? Um, depends on the situation. Oh, I've always dreamed of that situation. Kyle's going to need to work faster here. He's only got about a minute 20 to qualify. Kyle. Yeah, that's not helping. He looks so hot up there. We get it, Jill. The man's girl bait. Yes, he has a very handsome neck. Girl bait Kyle, no problem cruising across our floor. Hey, sailor, want to dance? Whoa, drinks thrown in his face. Yeah, that is no way to treat a Yeti. 
Kyle makes it over. Critical time saver. Text me. By avoiding that wipeout, girl bait Kyle comes in with a time of 5 minutes 18 seconds. Means he'll be fishing for ladies in the next round. Turn up. <laughs>